good morning, welcome to another Friday vlog. Today I'm actually going to be leaving the house, which I've not done yet on a Friday vlog, but I'm going in search of a new printers. Back when I was living in Bristol, I had a really good printers that I really trusted and they made really nice prints for me. But now I um, have moved to the north of the country and I haven't got anyone to print my artwork. I found some printers in Manchester who specialise in fine art printing, so they look quite good. So I'm going to go visit them today and I'm going to take some originals with me. So these are the, the houseplant paintings that you've seen me working on, so I'm going to show them. And also an example of um, some previous prints I've had made, just so they can understand the quality that I want um, because really what I'm trying to do is get as close to the original as possible when these are reproduced so I want textured paper, I want quite thick paper and I want the colours to be really vibrant and lots of detail so um, hopefully they're nice people and then I can get some prints made for my shop. Before we go I wanted to introduce you to my newest plant um, I got this last weekend and I love it so much and I'm really scared I'm going to kill it. It is um, a baby banana plant, a Cavendish banana plant. And we actually um, visited the place where it was first cultivated. Um, and then this is the banana that a lot of people around the world eat. Um, so that's pretty cool. We visited the place where the... Um, botanist first started cultivating it and it was in a greenhouse in Derbyshire. Manchester now. I didn't actually end up going into Manchester, um, it was just like a borough outside of Manchester. It was really nice, never been there before. Um, um, so I went to visit the printers and I'd done quite a lot of research last night about different printers in the Manchester area and um, they looked quite good. Um, I was specifically looking for a fine art printers because I wanted some specific papers that kind of have that watercolour feel to them. Um, so like quite textured and heavy and they showed me some of their samples and they're really nice So I think I'm definitely gonna go with them. So I'm just going to email them um, at some point next week and Place an order. I might actually get some samples first before I place a big order um, Printers usually offer that anyway. They'll offer to do a few proofs for you so you can double check so I thought I would do a little unboxing because I received this in the mail yesterday and it took a lot of willpower not to open this because I was having a bit of a rubbish day. Get down then. No, Quentin, don't eat my socks. Yeah, it took a lot of willpower not to open this yesterday but I saved it for today's video. So hopefully it's good. It is um, a pa Paper Gang subscription box by Oh Dear. Um, they, they just do really amazing, lovely illustrated goods. So I'll leave a link to their website in the description to this video and definitely check them out. It's a really beautiful box. Slowest unboxing ever. How Paper Gang works. We think of fun ideas for the coming month's box. We work with illustrators all over the globe or our in-house team to produce the products. Our illustrative creations are brought to life in the form of stationery and then you have a full box of papery goodness that arrives at your door and this is like a monthly subscription as well sorry if I keep looking at um, the viewfinder I'm actually filming on a new camera that I've got um, in last week's vlog I broke my vlogging camera so today I've been carrying around this big DLS I always say it wrong, I can't even say it right, DSLR, which I haven't properly experimented with yet, like I haven't worked out what all the features do, so I'm sorry if this film, if this is a, goes a little bit out of focus or anything, I'm still learning. Ooh. 
and we have some washi tape again with a really nice marbled edge to it oh this is nice you get a greetings card you get a little um desk calendar thing i'll probably stick this in my bullet journal actually and a pencil case so i think now we are going to stop working for the day which would be nice um you can kind of see in the background the work that I've been doing this week. I can't really show it because um, it's client work, but um, there's loads of paintings back there. Um, so yeah, this week has been really busy. Um, Craig's been away all week, so I have been just working non-stop basically, working till like one o'clock in the morning. I can't sleep very well when he's not here. Um, and I was feeling a little bit anxious, so my way of coping is always to just work. So I feel like it's justified for us to be stopping working now. It's about 5 pm, so we're gonna go take the dogs for a walk in the park and enjoy the evening sunshine. finish the vlog um, my camera battery died so we ended up making these like sticky vegan rib style things and some corn on the cob had some coleslaw and some chips and it was a really nice dinner we watched two episodes of Handmaid's Tale the last two and loved it today we are off to do some vintage furniture and homeware kind of shopping in some antique shops across the Peak District um, so this sh it should be a really fun day, but I just wanted to finish the vlog properly and I also realised that I didn't talk about um, the project that I was talking about in last week's vlog which I was deciding whether to take on or not because it was going to be a lot of work um, but I decided not to take it on so um, I feel very happy about that decision and um, it was just impossible really with um, the amount of work that they wanted in such a short time and the fact that I've already got um, projects that I've taken on so it was a bit too much. The good news is that I will have time to make videos and things so the next video from me hopefully if things go to plan is going to be um, a studio equipment video so I'm going to be talking about my standing desk and my desk easel and my scanner and other things that I use to do my work so um, if you're new definitely subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about my channel and um, let me know any video suggestions you have in the comments and I will see you again very soon for a new video. Bye! Let's go